Hello once again Monster Hobbies Model Car Garage Mechanics. Welcome back to another Monster Hobbies Model Car Garage Show and Shine video. Today we've got a special treat. This is my build-up of the 1930 Model A Coupe by Monogram. Now this car I did have to add in some special components like the wheels and we'll discuss that in a minute. So now let's go down to the bench and see exactly how I built this cool little model. Here's my take on the 1930 Ford Model A Coupe. This is much like the cabriolet that my dad had that we looked at last time, although here you get the hardtop style roof and you still get the rumble seat in the back, which I can open up here very carefully. I can get my fingers on that. That's the handle. Now on my dad's cabriolet this was broken off. Let's try not to break mine off. Okay, hang on. Technical difficulties, everyone. Please stand by. There. So there we go. Now the seat in here I just left as the black plastic. Same with this on the rear tire. You got the little Ford sticker on here and a Michigan license plate as well. My dad's plate was from Illinois. But at any rate, one thing that I had to change, I had to add in the wheels for, from a 1929 Ford Model A. That's because I tried to uh, glue a little stick onto the original monogram wheels to paint them. And I did get them painted, but when I broke the stick off, it actually got wrecked up inside the wheels. So I substituted in these ones from the AMT29 Model A. Another thing I did was to make a plastic window in here that I have rolled halfway up. And on the other side, as I rotate this around, you can see the pedal or the steps here to get into the rumble seat. On this side, I put the plastic right up inside there just to keep this side clean. You can see I used a black pinstripe along here and to add into the top. Now, my uncle Albert actually had a model of this as the Hubli one, the uh, die cast, and he painted it red and black like I've done here. Another thing I did was added in the little yellow dots in here for the lights, just to make them look like there's a bulb in there. Anyway, as I was saying, I painted mine to match how I remember my uncle's Hubli uh, 1930 Model A to look. Again, a really cool kit. This one has the nice features of that opening rumble seat and the removable hood. So the hoods on these are really tight. Mine's not as bad to come up as my dad's hood was on his. I also added a little black pinstripe right in here and I chromed this area because I did see that that's how it's supposed to be for both that and the little little uh, pinstripe there. That's supposed to be a rubber seal. Now on my engine, as I bring it up to the camera, you can see that I painted the spark plugs pink inside there just to be a little bit different. There's the intake manifold and exhaust manifold with our updraft carburetor down below. So that would come in and go into the cylinders here and here. And then the exhaust would come out and go down that side as well. Now if I just turn the motor around, actually the exhaust goes into the back. But here you can see what I've done in my engine, just to make this a little bit more realistic, is I added in the little rubber hose and I painted some fine pinstripes on there to look like the clips. There's the steering column going down, the starter motor, and the generator. So that's what I did in my Model A. Now I'm just going to flip it up on its back so we can see underneath. Now here we have my Model A flipped on its side so we can see underneath. There you can see the Model A frame as well as our engine with the transmission back here. There's our battery and then we've got these nice radius rods going out into the back. This is a torque tube so this entire area here with the rounded part on our differential as well as the tube itself and then where the uh, where the rods hook in this is all solid so there's a the drive shaft is actually inside the tube and goes to the back and pilots the gears back here and to get this off this way and this way you unbolt it around here and under here of course so that's just the difference between that and a differential that we know now with the universal joints in here and here. So I think on these torque tubes, there's only one universal joint right up in here. So you can imagine that dropping back and forth and just flexing in one point. Anyway, it's got the leaf springs in here. 
which were above the axles just like the Model T Fords were. So again, a really cool kit and really awesome showing the undercarriage. Well, I sure hope you enjoyed our look at my 1930 Ford Model A Coupe with the rumble seat. And if you've built this model kit in the past, how did you like it? What color did you paint it? Was it your favorite model or did you find it kind of frustrating? If so, let us know in the comment section down below. Now, I want to let you guys all know something. In the future, I want to build a special museum that showcases both my model cars and my dad's model cars in these really cool period correct type scenes. So like for this 1930 Model A, I can have it on the street, maybe outside of a diner or something cool. We haven't really fully meshed out all the details of this museum because it's something I want to do in the next five years or so, working my way slowly up to that point. But if you want to help support that idea, for as little as $3 a month, you can click that join button that's just down here somewhere and that opens up membership to this YouTube channel, which I will use in order to make this museum. You can also get your name in the credits at the end of the video, which just is my appreciation saying, you know, thanks for helping us out. That's in a lot of videos. Actually, if you look at the end of all my videos, you'll see those names going up. That's what that is. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And if you're looking for model cars, check us out at www.monster-hobbies.ca. We ship around the world, including down south to the United States. We're up in Canada, eh? Anyway, until next time, everybody, happy model building, and we'll see you on the road.